guys, Jake here from EAS. I got another review today. The D-Boys Full Metal Scar L. Now, uh, on Airsoft GI, it's listed as the MK-16. Uh, I'm not really sure if that's what it's called, but yeah. Sorry for the shakiness of the camera. I just want you to see the whole gun, see how sexy it is. And yeah, I don't have a tripod yet, so this is just my iPhone. I think it turns out pretty good, but yeah, whatever. Uh, it... Now, one thing is, it is not full metal. This upper receiver is the only part that is metal. If you want to consider, oh, the clip and then the trigger, the safety, the fire selector thingy, the trigger guard, some of the buttons on the stock here, the, these bolts, internals, whatever. The RIS is metal, the sights are metal, but yeah. This, the lower receiver, is all polymer. This stock is polymer. Uh... The stock, the cheek rest is adjustable. That so if you want to like put it down, if you more like that, or if you're one of the smaller players, you could push this in. And it goes just right in like that. There is a little wobble on it, but it doesn't really bug me when you're when it's on your shoulder. It doesn't really matter. Uh, another thing is this gun does come with a silencer and and a foregrip. The foregrip just slides on the bottom. Uh, yeah, it just slides on the bottom like that. Doesn't really help anywhere else but the bottom. Uh, the silencer, which I found was really awkward. You actually have to take off the orange tip, which is like a little bolt right there. Teeny tiny little Allen key. I guess you could use that, but it's really complicated. And the silencer is pretty tiny. I didn't really get a chance to try it out because I don't have an Allen key yet. But yeah, for the externals of the gun, it's pretty much metal. Very, I was very satisfied. I did carve those little tally marks in there. Just thought it would give it some character. I like it. You probably won't. Most of my friends don't. But uh, yeah. Uh, another thing is I bought the black version. There is a tan version available. Uh... Keep in mind, if you do buy the black version, they only have tan mags, which I didn't think that uh, looked too bad in there. And another thing is the mag is a little stubborn to get in. Uh, this little mag release is ambidextrous. If you are left-handed, you will have to push the back as opposed to pushing wherever you want. Uh, on the other side, functioning charging handle is metal. Pop-up system is like some clear plastic, I guess, but most of the internals are, me are metal. And uh, these sights, they do flip down like that in case you want to mount a scope or something. I usually put my ACOG on there. Leapers, 1x30, that's what I put. Uh, you can put whatever you want, red dot, hollow, holographic, whatever you want. Uh, a stock. There's, on the other side, there's a little button right here. Push that in, and it folds in like that. It's a little stubborn to get the stock in place, but once you do, it's pretty sturdy. The only problem is, uh, it's a little annoying trying to pull the trigger, because you got the stock in the way. And the clip release doesn't go back all the way, it's a little hard. So, uh, the fire selector's fine, even with the stock folded down, but yeah, you know. Uh, I have not chrono verified this thing, but it is, I've been told it shoots about maybe uh, 400 FPS, that's what I was told, from Airsoft GI. You can buy it on their website for, uh, let's say, yeah, I bought it on their website for 190 bucks. I was very satisfied, I haven't shot this thing at anyone yet, haven't gone to a war, just got it today meant to do an unboxing video but I was just so excited I actually ran home all the way from school today yeah troll me about it uh, another thing one more thing about the mags is it does take here's my crappy little M4 from Walmart the mag from the M4 it does take standard M4 mags they're a little easier to get in uh, this one it's just a little 300 FPS plastic M4 not really sure who makes it but yeah just takes these mags. I bought three extra mags for them, so I got five in total. Pop that right back in there. So, yeah. The D-Boys, uh, 
MK16 or Scar L or H, whatever you want to call it. I was very satisfied. I hope you are too. I would highly recommend this. See ya.